Edinburgh, please make some noise for Morgan and West. <laughs> and their glamour system. Glamour system. Good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rhys Morgan. I am Robert West. Together we are Morgan and West, West. magicians. Time travellers. And all-round spiffing chaps. And for those of you listening on radio, we look tremendous. In fact, not only do we look tremendous, but our assistant this evening looks absolutely wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovely Miss Paloma Faith. <laughs> Rather. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have for you a new trick. So, warm up your amazement muscles. As we bring you hot off of the presses. Fresh from the oven. And for your eyes only. Morgan, Morgan and West's West. new trick. <clears throat> we are working on the title. Quite, yes. And helping us with this new trick, we have... Your name, sir? Martin. Around what is Martin joined us on the stage. Just sit, just sit here Lovely to meet you, Martin. Please do take a seat. Now, if you look to your left, sir, you will see that Mr. West is holding a deck of cards, a deck which he is about to riffle through. Martin, I would just like you to say stop whenever you wish. Just say stop for me, Martin. Stop. There, you can take that card for me, Martin. And in fact, Martin, you can look at that card and show me the face. It is not that sort oh. of trick, so it does not matter if I see. Marvellous, the three of diamonds. Now, Martin, I'm going to have you personalise this card by putting your signature across the top. Is that OK? Yeah, yeah. Mr. Morgan will lend you his pen. You could use a pen to just sign name just across the top there for me, Martin. That's splendid, Martin. Excellent. And recap the pen. And if you would re return the pen to the lovely Miss Faith. Thank you. And just blow on the ink to dry it. Excellent. There we have a signed three of diamonds. Now, Martin, the task as it befalls you is simple. All you need to do is keep track of your card as it goes into the deck. And just push it in for me. <laughs> just keep an eye on it. Excellent. And just watch it as it goes into the centre. And Martin, I just want you to keep an approximate idea of the position of your card within the deck. Just an approximate idea. As I do this. Approximate idea? Yeah. Excellent. Approximate idea? Yeah. Now, Martin, I should come clean. I'm a magician. And as such, I know exactly where your card is. Which is not at all fair, is it? So, Martin, can you shuffle cards? In that case, can you give those cards a quick mix? Just that you are happy that you have mixed the cards and I have mixed the cards. There's no way that either of us could know the particular position of a particular card in that particular deck of cards. Expertly done, Martin. Yeah. <laughs> now, Martin, I'm going to run through the faces of the cards, and as I do so, the moment, the very instant you sight the face of your card, I'd like you to very loudly exclaim, stop, or huzzah, or yeah. gadzooks, or any other exclamation you feel would suffice. Okay. Just whenever you see your card, Whenever, whenever you, you see, see your, your card. <coughs> Martin, just whenever, whenever you, you see, see your, your card. <laughs> Martin, judging by your lack of exclamation, I will suggest you have not seen your card in this particular deck of cards. You've lost my card. It is, in fact, no longer there. Quite. <coughs> However, Martin, if you look to your right, you'll see that Mr. Morgan is holding ten brand new sealed packs of blue playing cards. Please take any pack. Any pack you like. Marvellous. Have it on. Now, Martin, on behalf of the audience, you can see that this pack is twice fold sealed, yes? Yeah. Firstly, by the transparent wrap around the outside. Yeah. And that is intact, yes? It is not broken open and resealed at all on the bottom. No. There are no cuts, no lacerations in the top. Mr. Morgan will lend you the use of his pocket knife. If we'd use said pocket knife, just slice through that top layer of wrapper there for me, Martin. <laughs> Expertly done. Do hold on to the knife momentarily. You will need it in a second. And if you would just like to peel off that, pull off that wrapper. Screw it into a ball, and in fact, just throw it back at your seat if you could. Just down there. <laughs> Splendid, Martin. Now, you can also see with this second wrapper, this wax paper seal, that is also intact, yes? yes. That has not been broken up and resealed at all. Excellent. Once again, you just use Mr. Morgan's pocket knife to slice through that. Expertly done. Um, now, Martin, uh, at this point, just return the knife to Miss Faith or Mr. Morgan. Thank you ever so much. At this point, it is imperative I do not touch the cards. Okay. So can you unfold that flap yes. and extricate every single card from within? Thank you very much. Thank Would you please spread those cards face down atop the table? Wonderfully done. Now, Martin, can you confirm for everyone listening and watching that in this twice-fold sealed deck of blue cards, there is, in fact, one single red card? There is. There is. <gasps> <laughs> Martin, 
Would you be surprised if that single red card, the only red card in that twice-fold sealed blue deck of cards, would you be surprised if that were your signed three of diamonds? No. <laughs> ah. Are you a cynic? Ah, yes. Um, well, in all fairness, Martin, uh, I do not think that anyone else would be surprised either. Hmm. And let, let us face it, given that we are magicians and this is a magic show, it did seem rather too... Obvious. Obvious, yes. But we are not just magicians, Martin. Oh, no. We are also time travellers. So we thought we would go one better. One better indeed. Martin, would you please take that single red card from a twice-fold sealed blue deck of cards? Is that your signed three of diamonds? Uh, no. no. <laughs> what does it say? It says, cup your hands. Martin, cup your hands, please, just over to the left towards <laughs> Mr. West. <laughs> <laughs> Towards Mr. West, sir. You see, Martin, we are not just magicians. We are time travelers. We went back in time and put your card somewhere you would not miss it. Martin, on behalf of the audience, will you unfold that card and tell everyone in a nice, loud voice, is that your sign, Three of Diamonds? It is my a round of applause for Martin, everyone! Thank you very much, Martin. That's yours to keep. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've been a lovely audience. We have We've been, been Morgan, Morgan and West. West. And the lovely Miss Paloma, Paloma Faith. Faith. Good night. Wow.